Good evening. Um, it's me again. And tonight I have a bit of a project. Uh, as you know, I have two electric bikes. I have my electric scooter, which is here. This is the one that I've been modifying myself, playing around with. And uh, that's the one that goes really fast. But it's been kind of jury rigged, you know. I've got a, a turbo and I've got all sorts of funny things happening in there. So let's just say it's uh, not the most stable. I'm constantly having little issues with it. Um, I'll explain a bit more later. Here is my other electric bike. Okay. Now this is the very common one that you find all around China. Okay. Basically, uh, this I believe is a 350 uh, volt hub motor. Uh, and then we have the battery pack over here, which kind of looks like a fuel tank. And uh, there's no suspension on this thing. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's dying. Okay, basically, let me explain. I've had that one. Shut up. I've had that one for about two years now, maybe longer. And uh, I haven't had to replace the batteries. Shut up. Anyway, I haven't had to replace the batteries, so the batteries do last a long time. Uh, you get about, I'd say, if you're using it every day, you'll get about a year, maybe a year and a half out of your batteries before they die. Now, uh, these batteries, they're not just normal batteries. I mean, they are normal lead acid batteries, but they are what we call deep cycle batteries. Not like a car battery. Car batteries aren't supposed to be discharged and charged again, discharged, charged again. These ones can be. Okay. So don't have any illusions about using car batteries in your electric bikes. Now, um, Here's how we charge these things. You get a normal charger, okay, which you just plug into the wall. And as you can see, this one is currently charging someone's e-bike somewhere. Anyway, um, this is my friend Pete's bike, which I helped him scavenge and fix up. Now, I want to show you the problem I'm experiencing. I had a bit of a wiring short in my little e-bike here. Okay, so see I actually have my charger in here because it, there's a rather annoying thing people like to use my charger so they unplug it and then I get downstairs and my bike hasn't been charging. Okay, as you can see under my toolkit here I have my batteries but now it's difficult to see in this light but this battery is completely bulged. Uh, in other words it's completely destroyed. Uh, I will give you a better shot later because I'm going to take, take this upstairs to fix it. Actually, what I am going to do is I'm not going to fix this bike tonight. I'm going to fix this bike. I'm going to take off its battery pack. I'm taking it upstairs. I'm going to salvage the good batteries out of this one and put them all in here because this bike is very reliable. It's stock standard. I haven't done anything to it. Um, and you get a range of about, I'd say, 30 to 40 kilometer range on that thing. Uh, top speed maybe about 35 40 kilometers an hour somewhere around there, but uh, it's reliable and I need that right now, so I'm going to Be taking this bike stripping out all the usable batteries uh, Throwing away or trading in the old ones because you do get uh, trade in because they've got lead inside obviously that gets recycled going to trade in all those batteries as well and So it shouldn't be too expensive to do the upgrade then I'm going to put this one on hold for about two or three weeks and then I'm going to I'm basically going to rewire the whole thing and then uh, put a fresh set of batteries a different kind of batteries because I found that you can now get instead of in that one it has five individual 12 volt batteries 16 amp 12 volt batteries I can get a single uh, 48 volt 24 amp battery which means I'll get a lot longer range. And then obviously I'll add an additional one 12 volt, for, uh, 12 volt 24 amp battery. So then that will make 60 volts 24 amps instead of right now, which is 60 volts 16 amps. In other words, I'll get better range and it should be more reliable because there won't be all these different batteries. It'll just be two batteries I'm dealing with. Okay, enough explanation. Now, what I'm going to do is take this uh, battery pack off of here. So let's see how it's done. Okay. Well, I have a very rusty old lock on here, which is to. Oh, shut up. 
Can't wait to shut this thing up. Okay, basically, there's also a little catch down here, which... Okay. It's pretty much useless. Oh, shut up! Oh, hang on. It's been a long time since I've removed this. As you can see, there is the battery pack. Inside of that are five 12 volt batteries. Okay. And uh, there the bike is without its battery pack. It looks rather silly actually. <laughs> just plugs in with a normal Molex connector you know like that you find on a kettle kettle cord or computer it's got one of those that plugs into the battery pack okay so let me just lock the lock on here I don't need to do anything else with this bike I'm gonna leave it down here just need to take the battery pack up to get all the new batteries put in and soldered in okay so here here you can see how it's bulged it's mainly due to poor wiring job. Uh, yes, that's my fault. Here's my relay turbo, which actually works very well. But uh, yeah, this battery's had it. And I think at least one or two of the others has had it too. If you want to know, the speed controller is sitting up there somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, let's see, we're gonna open, well, he's gonna open that up for me. By the way, there, there are a whole bunch of new e-bikes over there. Mm. More as I put them. So that's where the turbo battery goes, where a normal, a normal scooter battery goes. Turbo is good. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the middle of the bike. See these batteries are also completely screwed. But that's after two years of charging and not charging. So I'm pretty impressed. All of the batteries that were in here are completely buggered due to my bad wiring. I gotta learn how to wire properly. <clears throat> okay, so I've worked a deal to trade in all my busted batteries and blown up batteries for basically four new ones. I still have to pay about 200 odd uh, RMB, which is not that much. And then here, I'm going to use this one, which is still good. So, as you know, there's a set of five to make 60 volts. And then I'll have a completely usable, almost brand new, well, they'll all be brand new batteries. So I can use my other one. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Then, as soon as I get a hold of that place that sells the good batteries, those big sets I was telling you about, I'll stick them in here. As you can see, these electric scooters are basically just the petrol scooters that have been modified. They put a tray in here to hold the batteries. Please excuse the mess. And uh, basically just cut out this luggage compartment. Um, in fact, if you put... When this was originally a 48 volt, the batteries fit in so nicely that you can actually still have your luggage compartment as well. But this is, you know, I upped it to 60 volts. So that's my fault. Well, this thing's going to be out of commission for a little while, but not too long. A couple of weeks, uh, at the most a month. Yeah, nice and new, nice and fresh. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Just out of interest. Let's see. See this? This is Ilu Shunfeng, which is the same as Ilu Ping'an, which my 125 scooter has, and that means, I guess, one road safety. So it means safety, which is very nice. It's like a kind of a good luck charm for when you're riding. Seems to have worked so far. Coming together nicely there.